Welcome back to Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo, and we have some exciting word on Matt Groening's new cartoon, Disenchanted. Now, if you're somehow unfamiliar with Matt Groening's work, he's famous for creating the cartoon juggernaut that is The Simpsons, along with the other cartoon juggernaut that was Futurama. Both were insanely successful, highly critically acclaimed cartoons. And with two massively successful cartoons under his belt, the world waited with bated breath to see what his next project was gonna be. And about last year, it was announced that he was creating another project with Netflix, a cartoon titled Dis Disenchantment. According to the Netflix press statement, In Disenchantment, viewers will be whisked away to the crumbling medieval kingdom of Dreamland, where they will follow the misadventures of a hard-drinking young princess Bean, her feisty elf companion Elfo, and her personal demon Lucy. Along the way, the oddball trio will encounter ogres, sprites, harpies, imps, trolls, walruses, and lots of human fools. Ultimately, said Matt Groening, Disenchantment will be about life and death, love and sex, and how to keep laughing in a world full of suffering idiots, despite what the elders and wizards and other jerks tell you. There's some big names attached to this project. The series will feature the voice talents of Abby Jacobson as Bean, Nat Faxon as Elfo, and Eric Andre as Lucy. Eric Andre playing the devil makes way too much sense. Along with other notable voices like John DiMaggio, Billy West, Maurice LaMarche, Tress McNeil, David Herman, Matt Berry, Jenny Baton, Rich Fulcher, Noel Fielding, and Lucy Montgomery. The animation for the show is being done by Rough Draft Studios, who famously did the animation for Matt Groening's other cartoon Futurama. Disney Chapman will premiere on Netflix 10 episodes at a time starting in 2018, and is produced by by the ULULU company for Netflix, with Matt Groening and Josh Weinstein, the Simpsons and Futurama fame, serving as executive producers. Netflix was excited, as the vice president, Cindy Holland, said, Matt Groening's brilliant work has resonated with generations around the world, and we couldn't be happier to work with them on Disenchantment. It's a really corporate statement, but I mean, at least they're excited. So it looked like Matt Groening was at it again, doing another genre-based comedy. If you're familiar with Matt Groening as a creator, you know that his shows are always based off of him taking a genre and spinning in a different direction. The Simpsons was a family sitcom. Futurama was sci-fi. So I guess now he's tackling fantasy. I, for one, am super excited. I mean, I just saw Eric Andre's voicing a character, now I'm extra hyped. And it seems like we're closer than ever to finally getting this show, as they just released some images of what we can only assume is the characters, Bean, Elfo, and Lucy. Now, they're super zoomed in and cropped, but I mean, it's kind of a sort of idea of what they're gonna look like. It's exciting. It's getting me hyped, so it's serving its purpose. So I guess in a closing note, get excited for Disenchantment, because I know I am. And it's on Netflix too, so Matt Groening knows the way television's going. He's a smart man. This is gonna work. Uh oh, update, we actually got some more images for Disenchantment posted on Netflix's Twitter. These pictures showcase the full designs for Bean, Elfo, and Lucy. It even shows them in many different scenarios, like surrounded by forests with swords, sitting on the edge of a balcony, drinking, which was described earlier, Bean being an alcoholic, so it makes sense that her companions drink also. There's also her sitting on her princess throne, but she still has beer with her. And finally, there's an image of them which looks like they're ready for battle. Bean has a sword, Elfo has a spiked ball, which has a name, but I don't know it, and Lucy is just kind of sitting there, but he's Eric Andre, so leave him alone. This actually reveals a lot more about the show than what would seem at first glance. For instance, we see Bean on the throne with her princess duties, but she looks kind of disgruntled, unhappy, but we also see her with swords and other weapons looking ready for a fight. This shows that her character is a princess, sure, but she's also a fighter. She's a badass who can stand up for herself, which actually might play a lot into what her character dynamic must be. It looks like she's just a princess who hates being a princess and wants to be a fighter instead, and drinks a lot. There's a lot of alcohol in these pictures, but I don't know. That's just our take. We don't know anything for sure, and the show's not out yet. But regardless, these images give a lot of insight into the show. Also, Elfo looks like Bart. I can't get that out of my head. But as always, I want to know what you guys have to think. Are you excited for Disenchantment? Have you even heard of it? Are you not excited at all? Let us know in those comments down below. If you want to consider helping out the roundtable, you can check out our Patreon. There you get exclusive access to things like Avatar scripts, and get your name shouted out at the end of the video, like all of these beautiful people here. And for a little bit more money, you can get a shout out at the end of the month. If you can't get enough of the roundtable, follow us at Roundtable Vids with our Instagram and Facebook under the same name. Add Retro Nemo is my personal Twitter. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more great cartoon content. As always, I'm Retro Nemo. This is your daily dose of cartoon news, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.